At Walters & Wolf, below the hook vacuum lifters are used on a daily basis in both shop and field applications. This video will cover the standard operating procedure for the daily inspection form for below the hook vacuum lifters. Here at Walters & Wolf, a form is in place to complete a daily inspection on each unit. Once completed, this form must be stored in the tube found on the vacuum cup lifter. The first step in completing your inspection form is to fill out the basic information. At the top of the form, place your name, the date, and the unit number on which you are inspecting. Next, you will complete a structural inspection looking for any damage or defects to the unit. Next you will complete a cup inspection. Look for any signs of damage, cuts, or deterioration that may affect the performance of the cup. Inspect gauges for damage or cracking and make sure that they function properly when activated. Now inspect the vacuum and hose system. Look for cracking, holes, or any deterioration that may affect the performance of the vacuum system. Inspect your electrical system including battery, charger, and wiring to ensure that the electrical system is functioning properly. Examine the air filter to ensure there is no dirt or debris and to ensure that there is no cracking in the air filter system. Now that you've completed the steps of your visual inspection, it's time to perform function tests. The function test will cover six different areas of operation. Each of these areas must be performing properly in order to use the vacuum lifter. First, activate the vacuum system. Ensure pad adherence onto the glass. Ensure gauges are functioning and the battery is above 50%. At this point, look for any other signs that may indicate that this unit is unfit for use. If not, complete your function test by putting the unit under load and checking for loss of pressure. If the unit performs under load, you are completed with your daily inspection and are ready to go to work. Completing your daily inspection is absolutely critical and is a requirement of anyone who is using a below-the-hook vacuum lifter.